How's it going guys? I hope you have had a brilliant Christmas. Um, it's currently like two days after Christmas here. So um, yeah, I hope you guys have had a good Christmas. And hopefully the weather's not too, too bad where you guys are because at the minute it's absolutely just so miserable weather over here. So uh, yeah. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start this video off with just a quick um, update on the carriage. Um, now I've got a 50 inch TV hanging up on the wall with Spotify on it. So if I want any music going on, literally just... So yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, my old power washer has actually blown up, so I've had to buy a new one. Um, it's currently in with a scrap of the rest of the parts out here, uh, which I do still have to Oh man, it's so windy. It's actually horrible weather at the minute. Um, and then I've got this bench, this is just a temporary bench, but it's going in the, in the garden. But uh, yeah, today I'm going to go ahead and um, as you guys can see, that's the old S3 there. Still need to take off some more parts of it, um, but fortunately I've been working all the way up, to, up till Christmas and I've got a week off now. So um, to, on Wednesday I'm going to go ahead and take some stuff to the dump and then I'm just going to get the rear diff off it. Uh, the steering wheel, um, like buttons, indicators and stuff, and the steering rack, and the prop shaft, and the rear brakes, and then whatever's left, um, if it's salvageable, salvageable um, I'll take it off, and uh, otherwise I'm just going to go ahead and dump it, really. So yeah, my plan for today, I'm going to go ahead and get the car um, in the air. I want to get the wheels off i want to power wash all the insides and um just sort of freshen it up a little bit um since the last last time i've seen you guys i've actually done something that i think you guys will really like um but it's one of them because if i make a video of it it's gonna make you guys want it and i can't give you a link to it but <laughs> this is real carbon fiber trims interior i've also got the alcantara uh gear shifter gator and the carbon fiber rear handbrake handle. Um, so these I got off eBay. Unfortunately, they don't they only sell them once, like every two months, because they had to make them. Um, and then this I got off eBay as well from somebody that had it used um, and was uh, breaking an S3 that had this in the car. Um, I can leave the link for the the Al Alcantara Gator. Um, it was on eBay, uh, and it's super super easy to install. It's literally just pull the panel up. And you just trap the Al the Alcantara in the panel, and then up top here, it's literally just clamped on with the gear knob. It's super easy. If you guys really, really want me to, I can uh, take it off and show you guys how to install it, sort of thing. Um, but other than that, it's uh, it's going well. So what else I've also done is I've got this little cover just thought it makes it look, look a little bit nicer and i've also had the inlet ports um, machines cleaned i'll put some pictures up now of what they look like now and i've also had the inlet flap um, delete kit installed so that's all done now and literally all i'm waiting for now is just my exhaust to turn up it's ordered i'm just waiting for the postman to uh show up really with it really um, and then once that's on, we're going to go ahead and get this thing mapped, ready, well, it's basically going to be ready for stage 2 plus then. Because um, at the minute, because obviously the inlet flaps are deleted, it's running in like limp mode. Um, so it's not very fun at all to drive. But uh, yeah, I've been using it otherwise. Um, as you can see, it's absolutely filthy. I still want to get the rear lights. I did order them, unfortunately, they came down the wrong ones. Um, these are the ones that came down and they're like the A3 ones but the ones I was after was the facelift F S3 which has like the black tinted sides and yeah so I'm going to have to I've already sold them to somebody else but I'm going to go ahead and uh, order the right ones when I can um, but otherwise guys it's been so good it's been so good to get back into it um, obviously I've just been using a crappy car since since this one was absolutely written off <laughs> but uh yeah i'm gonna go ahead and get this car in the air 
um, on one side each time and uh, go ahead and start taking off the uh, wheels. I've also, I don't know if I kind of showed you, I've also got the lowering springs on front and rear now. The front is still uh, desirably not as low as I would like it, but hey ho, it is what it is. It's fully aligned now as well. So we're just gonna stick with it for now, but maybe in the future, we'll go ahead and get some coils on it. But uh, yeah, we're getting there guys, we're getting there. Hopefully this January now, it should be all stage two plus, and then we can focus on getting the wheels painted, do the uh, windows tinted, and just get it like exterior looking good. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get it in the air and take the wheels off. And of course, once I start, it literally just starts hailing and it's probably going to be a quick shower, but oh well, at least we've got the wheels off now. Just going to pull everything indoors and then uh, hook up the power washer. I'm going to power wash the arches and then I'll go ahead and get some snow foam in there and a brush and just brush all the dirt out. Um, it's just something I like to do. I've done it on that one twice, I think. Um, it's just like peace of mind sort of thing, just knowing that everything's like clean in the arches. Um, I mean, I may even just use some wax as well, just wax all the panels underneath. Or if so, um, I'll go ahead and just get some spray paint um, and just sort of coat any visible like um, unprotective surfaces that are metal just to prevent any rust or anything. As you guys might be able to see from here, I need to touch up that rear diffuser again because it's sort of chipped away, which is not good, but I'll go ahead and get that done another day when it's dry. Um, so yeah. So while it's pissing it down, I have got the hose out now. Um, so I just need to plug this in and then once it sort of dies down a little bit, literally, I don't know if you can even see the rain, but it's absolutely coming down the minute. But uh, I'm just looking on my shelf full of random stuff. And I've got this old phone holder, which the two vents go and then you put your phone there. I might give that a go later. Um, I've just sold, uh, I've got like three of these rear windscreen wiper motors for these VAG and like Audi cars. And so like, someone messaged me today saying if I had one, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell that. Um, I do have some more. I've also got an anti-lift kit up there, which I do want to put on the car. Um, although I think it might need to be aligned after I do that. So I'm, obviously it's just been aligned, so I don't want to knock it out again. So I'm just going to sort of sit on that one for a little bit. Um, I've got the ECU from the, S, the old S3. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you guys upstairs actually, since I can't actually do anything out there right now. So this is how we are now. I have sold some parts, um, but this is what I've got. I still want to put this on my new one because I've done a video on it and of uh, painting these like gloss black. And they still, this one's still in good condition, although the other one is um, damaged really badly. But uh, yeah, if you guys see anything that you guys might want, hit me up in the comments or something. I've got literally a fucking Xenon light chrome mirrors, um, window regulator motors, heaters, panels, you know, speedos, boat hole bow system, literally brand new clutch, um, rear brake set up. I'm gonna have the discs and everything off them soon and then that'll be a whole set up for the rear brakes. Panels, I mean, I can't really sell these, but door cards, I suppose, engine mounts, um, yeah, uh, whatever you guys see here, or if you guys are after anything, 
Um, and you think I might have one. I've got a subframe, cooling bottle in there, loads of different bits and bobs. Um, standard air, air and filter, pipes. Yeah, if you guys need anything, hit me up. I might have it. Um, because otherwise it's just going to be sat in here um, until I eventually might need it. But highly doubt I will need all this stuff, realistically. Um, other than just speakers, which, you know, some could go on my new one. But, but yeah, so this is what we got so far. Uh, like I said, there's not really a lot to take off the, the old one now. The old beast decompressor, which is sounds like it's leaking. <laughs> but, oh well. Got some blue roll down there, fully stocked up. I couldn't believe how cheap this stuff is. Like, this is six rolls for £12. I was like, what? So, can't go wrong with that. Uh, I'll go ahead and get back to you guys once the rain stopped and I can get out there and uh, start cracking it on. There we go. So I'm gonna head and grab a brush and just brush the inside. Again. Hey guys, so it's currently pissing it down again, so I'm just trying to get some of it done off camera but I've just power washed this and now I've just snow foamed it on the front and already it's looking good and I've rinsed the rear and it looks look at that on camera it looks bloody, bloody insane but you can see here this is the type of stuff that I want to paint um, same here paint that paint here um, paint some of this uh, on the back there and this you see I think somebody's done here is they've painted this um, and the caliper and obviously they've oversprayed on the back here um, so that's fucking great isn't it but uh, it's all right luckily it's not a big issue for me luckily because I've got the garage I can just do it myself but I'm gonna head brush all this down and then rinse it and I'll get back to you hey guys so I think the sun's trying to come out a little bit but that's how we're looking now and now I've rinsed this one off it's a lot better as well although things again like this be nice to get that painted just yeah just scuffs here and there really uh, they just need to get wiped down and some paint just some spray paint nothing nothing big but might do a bit more here, a bit more rinsing, but yeah. I'll go ahead and come back to you guys once I rinse this one off and put the both wheels on, and then I'll go ahead and get the other side up. Got a graveyard around here. All right guys, I'm actually starting to question myself as why am I doing this? Well, it's literally raining all day. But hey ho, we're almost there. Got this side up, uh, this side up now, and you can already see it's, nice and muddy in there um i'm half debating whether to just power wash it and then bring it in here and then take the wheels off and then like hand dry everything but uh, i'm not sure i don't know if i can be asked really um because i do have some paint to paint those bits well there's a lot actually in there uh it's just getting it back in here taking the wheels back off drying it i don't know we'll see how i feel um 
this shouldn't take too much longer. Just gonna do these two arches and then uh, put it back on the floor. And then we'll go from there. Okay guys, so I've just finished washing the, these this side's arches. As you can see, it's a load better. And you can also see where I want to touch it up, like in there and there. And then in here is a hell of a lot better as well. It's all clean. Uh, but yeah, this definitely needs some paint. Like this is just not acceptable. Like this is like stained. No, this one needs this one needs to be painting. Um, and just a good good looking over really. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the wheels back on and then get it into the garage and then uh, I think I'm gonna take them off again and just dry them and then just touch up the bits especially on the rear mostly uh, of uh, where those like rust rusty bits are and you know, what sand sand them down respray them and then uh, that should be good for now um, I think tomorrow I might attempt to spray the wheels um, so yeah, while I'm off work, I might as well just crank down, get get all this stuff done while I'm off. Um, and then the faster I do it, the uh, faster it'll be done. And uh, we'll be happy, finally happy with where the car's at. And then we can go from there. Okay guys, so I've got it in the in the garage, close the door a little bit just to keep some whatever heat there is in here. It will keep the breeze out even. Got myself my floodlight and Got the compressor hooked up, so I'm gonna go ahead and blow all the water out of here. And my main focus of spraying is the bottom of the strut here. I'm gonna put another layer on all this in here, put another some coats on here, um, and then get rid of all that silver around the back there, and probably go over that. So um, just just gloss black just to tidy it up a little bit, um, and then. Uh, We'll have to come back another day and uh, see this stick is already. I don't even know why. <laughs> we'll uh, go ahead and it looks like the pads are actually quite new. The discs are quite new as well, to be fair. They ain't really got any lip on them, but yeah, I'm thinking obviously I want to go yellow, but I know last time we sprayed these sort of calipers, they were an absolute nightmare. Um, but I know I want to put this black um, and then the center black just to, uh, instead of that rusty color. But uh, yeah, I'll come back to you guys once the spray it all down and everything. Okay guys, so I've just finished spray painting the shock on all the back pieces as well, as well as down there. Um, and I've also gone around the um, silver brake disc um, shield as well. Oh. And I've also gone around the brake shield as well. Um, definitely not my best work, um, just because it is, it was still a little bit damp. So I'm just going to, uh, I'm gonna leave this now. Um, yeah, it's just it's just such shit timing for like spraying anything because one like it's you know probably like four degrees and the paint just does not want to stick to anything like this, um, especially not very fast. Anyway, um, I'll probably just put one more coat on and then I'm just gonna put the wheel on. Um, and then probably just go on the other side and try and touch up what I can. Um, and then otherwise I'm probably just going to go, go home and come back another day when hopefully it's not this weather. Um, or I could leave this here for the night and then come back to it tomorrow when it's dry, but uh, I don't know. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, Put the wheel back on and uh, 
do the side and I'll get back to you. Okay guys, so I've just gone over like all the parts I want to spray with a heat gun and I've also heated up the can a bit as well, so that's helped. Uh, but I'm after to spray this bit, a uh, bit on there, bit on the bottom arm, um, this, pa this back panel, um, and then just like in here and on the bits that this person has re uh, over sprayed when they've sprayed the uh, caliper. Um, but uh, otherwise, I reckon that's all it needs. Okay guys, so, I've just uh, finished spraying all the bits I want to spray. Um, again, not come out like the most amazing how I would want it to. It's just a mixture of just it being cold air and probably cheap crap paint. Um, and maybe it might still be a little bit damp, but uh, it looks better. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, go over it with a heat gun once more and uh probably put the wheel on this side ah this side actually looks all right in there um obviously it's dark so you can't really see a lot but yeah it looks all good um i'm just gonna go ahead put the wheels back on torque them all up put the caps back on um, and then i'm just going to do this one last thing and that is fit this phone holder so hopefully i mean the only thing I'm paranoid about is just the my phone is a uh, iPhone 11 and it's quite heavy, so I'm hoping that this will be able to hold it. Because I remember my iPhone 8 Plus I had more than a year ago. I had the same thing and it just kept falling off. But uh, yeah, I'll get back to you guys once I got everything back together. Okay guys, so super easy install for these little uh, phone holders. You have to take out the um, air vents, both of them. And then once you've done that, literally all these do is you literally just pull them um, and they just come out really, really simple. I literally can't get over how good these look. I just want to get the, the um, surrounding carbon now. Um, and then eventually I'd love to get the... Uh, Door, door trims in carbon as well. But I'll go ahead and get back to you guys when I pull these out. It's not that hard. It's just needing like all your hands to put it forward. So yeah, you just want to get your trim tool. Like this helped quite a lot. Just get your trim tool and once you get it in, you can just wiggle them out. Literally, they're so easy to change. It'd be nice to get the um, 8V ones as well because they have like a cool customizable ring around it which you can get different colors. But believe it or not, instead of these vents that are uh, the 8V version, literally like bloody yeah, um, what 120 quid for just five, uh, four vents. And I'm just like, really? That's not really. I don't even know. I don't think that's worth it to be honest. 120 quid can get you a fucking spark plugs, oil, and filter. So <laughs> okay, so I got them both out. Literally super easy to install. So you get your phone holder. You rack it, oh, this has actually snapped a bit there. So, you wrap it round, like so. Try and do this with one hand. Oh, that's not gonna work, is it? I'll uh, put a link to these in the in the description. I'm sure it's like, the, this, this was like the very first person that actually thought of this idea. These, this is uh, like the very first generation of these phone holders. Um, but um, I think there's loads of different versions now on eBay, so I'll just I'll, I'll grab a link for you guys for the one that I feel like is good value for money sort of thing. So yeah, there we go. Now I'm just gonna put the next vent in, and then it's done. So I can do this one. In. Oh, almost. And then once that's in, there we go. These two can only go one way as well, so I'm sure that's that, and that's that. So that's up straight, that's up straight. Um, take that off for now, 
and then this is your magnet so there you go and uh, know me i like my stuff very like symmetrical so if it's like if this side's in more than this side i'll be like frustrated so i've got to make sure that's right and there, there we go that's bang on so you just want to push it in all the way and then make sure that they're all straight and there we go so and then you put this little magnet in the back of your phone case and then hopefully that will stick your phone to the magnet like that but we'll see if it's strong enough okay guys so yeah it holds it it's an iphone 11 and it's able to hold that so i'm gonna see how it goes i mean for all i know it might just fall off when i'm driving but i don't know we'll see how we go but um yeah guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this video here if you liked it make sure you leave a like um and definitely subscribe because i'm trying to bust out loads of videos for you guys because there's plenty of things that i'm sure you guys would like to see um but it's just on the time and everything else but uh yeah hope you guys had a good christmas and i'll go ahead and see you guys in the next video